Hey, Measuring Hero, Jay here. Uh, hope you enjoyed summer break. We're definitely back. Um, I've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm actually back here uh, at my office here in Oberkoken, and there's no one here. So uh, what we thought we would do is reach out to one of our aerospace colleagues uh, to talk to us about uh, aerospace blades. Uh, so Tim, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Jay. Yeah, how are you? Of course, I'm doing well. Uh, first of all, Tim, where the heck are you? I'm in Oakville, Ontario at uh, Elliott Matsura, which is the, the Zeiss product distributor for Canada. Cool, cool. Well, thanks, Tim, for joining us. Thanks to Elliot for uh, giving us the time and space to use their facility to, uh, to film this uh, and to have this discussion. All right, I'm just going to launch into it because I've been thinking about this all summer. Before we went on break, I spoke to Mark uh, in Maple Grove, and he blew my mind about measuring airfoil blades, right? He showed me right. this blade uh, on a CMM with a vast uh, probe system, and he was literally locating parts using the vast probe, uh, uh, locating positions on the vast probe, um, you know, by touching it. And it, it, it was cool because it was just a freeform blade, right? And... Right. Um, this summer, uh, I nerded out and kept reading about some of these blades, and I read that um, some of these have these special coatings, and these coatings, you can't touch it. So the thing I've wanted to ask all summer is, what do you do if you can't touch the blade? And so I'm gonna t ask you directly, Tim, what do you do if you can't touch the blade? Yeah, so we've got a pretty neat solution. If you can't touch the blade, but you're, you're trying to get the same dimensions that, that Mark was measuring before, which of course was, was on a tactile CMM, we've got a sensor called the dot scan, which is a, a white, white light uh, a laser, which comes down, measures the parts. Um, it, it can pick up the same dimensions and it does so using um, a, a probe tip that's got uh, a size of zero, which really helps when it comes to doing the probe radius correction. It, it's, there's no need for that. It's also, in, in most cases, you can scan faster than the tactile CMM, so, so oh, really? you can add some efficiency to your measurement, do it quicker than you could before, and, and still maintain the same reliability. Okay, so it sounds like, and we, uh, we, we've learned a little bit about dot scan before, so it's cool to see uh, to hear that uh, you can utilize a dot scan to, to, to use those measurements. Um, can you show it to us? Yeah, of course. Um, so I've got it set up on the machine right now. If I switch to my machine view, you can see the part there sitting in the rotary table. Cool, and what machine is this, by the way? This is the O-Inspect machine, and we've got it running, obviously, with the dot scan and the rotary table. Uh, but yeah, the, the type of machine is the O-Inspect. Cool, cool. Now, I, I, I know I'm, I'm on the optics team. I know that the Owen spec has, you know, the, the, the sensors just point straight down. And when Mark was showing me, uh, the sensor was going all around the part. So how do you do that with an Owen spec? Right, so similarly to, to that right now, you can see that the, the machine that Mark had, the rotary table was standing vertically, but you can see that the machine I'm using now, the setup, it, it's horizontal, so we can still get 360 access to the whole part and you can also see that the rotary table is not just indexing it's also acting as a fourth axis and allowing us to to rotate and scan at the same time they're they're basically That's working why. together to get the same measurement okay so uh it's not indexing stopping measuring it's actually real time yeah spinning and measuring yeah, which is A, cool to watch, and, and B, really, really helps uh, to, for a quicker measurement. Yeah, uh, everyone knows now that I just love things that look cool, so that that, all, <laughs> that, that clearly is awesome for me. Um, Don't we all? I also know, uh, uh, I also know about the Owen spec. Now, the, the machine that Mark had uh, was a big CMM. Uh, Owen specs are much smaller, right? Right. Yeah, it's, it's smaller, it's got a smaller footprint, it, it's also a mechanical bearing machine, so it doesn't need air. So it, it definitely opens up more possibilities where you could put it in a lab, machine floor, wherever you need it to go. Uh, there's a, a lot more flexibility in it. 
Wow, that's crazy. All right, so basically, uh, I threw at you one problem, which is what if you can't touch the blade? You came at me with uh, not just uh, non-contact, but uh, more efficient, um, faster, uh, smaller, and can go closer to the production floor. So again, my mind is absolutely blown. Uh, Tim, thanks for showing me uh, this solution and measuring the blade uh, this way. Um, I look forward to hearing about, uh, uh, the bar set really high basically. So yes. I hope that you have a colleague somewhere that can blow my mind uh, even more. But until then, uh, thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's been a blast and I'm, I'm happy to blow your mind and, and I think we can <laughs> continue to blow it more. Thanks, Tim. And for you out there, uh, welcome back from summer holiday and we hope you continue to stay healthy and we hope to see you next Thursday. Bye.